Get we'll get the plant out of this. Hi, my name is Jake, uh, aka Caboose for Envy's Valorant team. Uh, I'm known as their duelist, so I'm a lot of the guys taking the gunfights, uh, opening up the map, and taking some map control. So my starting gaming goes way back, all the way to 2003. Uh, I was three years old. My whole family is a bunch of huge gamers. It started with my big brother. Uh, he showed us World of Warcraft way back in the day. My whole family basically got addicted to that game. Uh, World of Warcraft, we've been playing it for a long time, but yeah, uh, it goes all the way back to 2003 with World of Warcraft and CS 1.6. So I started playing Counter-Strike competitively back in 2013. Uh, obviously started playing originally in 2003. Uh, joined my first team called The Foundation. Um, basically back in middle school I had to stay up uh, on school nights past my bedtime just to play scrims, you know, I had to sneak up. Uh, but played on that team for a couple years up until 2016. Uh, I got a big pro offer from an org called Selfless. Uh, that lasted about nine to 10 months. Uh, got to do some cool things there. I lived in a gaming house for a bit uh, when I was 16. So that was pretty fun to like move away from home. Uh, as well as I traveled to a couple international tournaments such as China, Brazil, and Canada. Uh, so yeah, Selfless lasted about 10 months. Uh, after that, I played MDL uh, for about three years, uh, up until 2020. Trying to really make a pro, but never really uh, getting there. Got close a few times, but uh, eventually Valorant came out. Uh, it felt like this game was just much better for me. I felt like I had a much bigger read on it, um, just with the differences in the games, having agents instead of uh, five of the same characters. So uh, yeah, that leads us up to Valorant. Uh, I think it's a great change, and I'm really excited for the future right now. Going pro wasn't such a big thing to me. Like I always thought it'd be cool, but you know, I never, uh, like a lot of people, I just kind of underestimated myself. I thought like, uh, there's no way I, I could pull something like this off. Um, it's actually interesting. At the start of my career too, I was like really bad. Like I was really low stats and the, some of the lowest divisions. And I don't know what changed, but someday overnight, uh, I just had like a pop off season. Uh, everyone started to kind of know my name. Um, and after that point, that was like in 2015, kind of felt like, oh man, maybe I should uh, you know, try to take this more seriously, stuff like that. Uh, so I started enrolling in online high school so I could focus more on gaming. And just a couple months after that, I got that pro tryout from Selfless uh, and everything kind of took off from there. It was pretty nerve wracking at first. Uh, most of the tryouts just come in FPS games, at least from playing scrims, uh, at which point the team and the coach will all be like focusing on you, not necessarily uh, you know, how well you get kills and stuff like that, uh, but all the aspects of being a team player, you know, how your attitude is, how you position yourself, use your abilities, um, kind of just see what kind of a person you are, and then if they like what they see, they'll, uh, they'll give you the offer. They have the, four, uh, the core four, so there's Calypso, Aikis, FNS, Mame, uh, and Dapper was their fifth. Um, Dapper got signed to Sentinels, which left them needing somebody. Uh, that's when they came to me, offered me a tryout, uh, eventually ended up making the team. Uh, grinded for about a month and a half. Uh, started playing in some lower tier tournaments, started qualifying for some bigger ones. Uh, and then when we got to the bigger tournaments, we started knocking out some big names, uh, beating like Cloud9, TSM, stuff like that, uh, which eventually got us noticed on the map for some orgs that started coming at us. Uh, and of course, chose Envy. Uh, great org, more than happy to represent them. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much how it all started. It still doesn't feel uh, very real to me, you know, a year ago, I was playing at Mountain Dew League, probably on like a top 60 team in the world, uh, you know, pretty far off from the top. Uh, and then just this year, a new game comes out and we're definitely top five in North America, maybe even the world. So it's, it still definitely doesn't feel real still. It feels like I'm kind of just doing the same thing. They heard the action from the left. Caboose with a great counter. Uh, I think when lands come into play, it'll start to sink in. But, but yeah, right now I'm just, I'm super excited. Uh, definitely taking advantage of the opportunity I have, definitely doing all that I can for it. So yeah, it's pretty exciting for sure. It was really cool to see our progress um, for all the big Ignition Series events. We ended up placing higher each time than the last one. Uh, so I think we got to the quarterfinals, the first one, and then fourth place. And then the final uh, Flashpoint tournament, we ended up getting second, uh, taking a loss of Sentinels in the finals. So uh, that leaves us where we are now. I think it's it's super promising. You know, if we keep improving like this, we'll, we'll definitely be number one. Uh, and that's what we're all rooting for here on Envy, is to be the number one team in the world.
Operator's out of the picture. Caboose. Oh, no! Caboose! Oh That's insane! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. that was racked. As Just death left. Oh no. Caboose looking to make this one happen for his team. An amazing round. He's going to make it a 4K. Quadra! Oh my god, that was so insane, dude. Uh, I just really like, really like, you know, being the best at something. Uh, putting in a lot of hard work, putting in a lot of hours, and then having it show, uh, I think is one of the best feelings in the world uh, to win. And vice versa, losing is also one of the worst feelings in the world. So uh, I think that's why I'm so competitive. You know, I just, I just love the feeling of winning. I just hate the feeling of losing. I uh, never want to feel that. So. Uh, I think that's why I'm so competitive. So after Selfless, uh, you know, that three-year period of playing MDL, uh, one of the things that eSports doesn't really have is job security. Um, you know, I'm, I was becoming the age where it was time for college. Uh, you know, I really had to make a choice, like, uh, I'm not showing too much progress here. Do I keep uh, pursuing this or, you know, do I just go to college, you know, get a normal career, stuff like that. Um, you know, eventually I decided, you know, just keep putting in the hours, like, it'll, it'll come eventually. Uh, but yeah, it was a pretty tough time for sure. My family was super supportive. They, they just wanted me to follow my dreams pretty much. Uh, they always believed in me. They always knew I could do it. Each other's going to fire! Fire who? That lady. Well, I know, but who'd you shoot at? That bad pirate. I, I can't really say I have many haters. Um, you know, I try to be as a likable as a person as I can. Uh, I don't really get into unnecessary beefs. I think that's like a great way to throw your career down the toilet uh, is, is burning some bridges. I've seen it so many times in the past with other players. Uh, even if it's like three or four years later, you know, that sick team opportunity comes, but one of those teammates you, you talked trash with for like 10 minutes three years ago, uh, you know, they remember that. So I uh, try not to have beef with many people. Uh, not many people really have beef with me. So I think that's a really good thing. A lot of people think uh, professional gaming is just, you know, an easy job. You're playing video games, you know, what can be hard about it? Uh, but there's a lot of stuff people don't know behind the scenes, you know, the, the work you have to put in, uh, the grind, the mental uh, health with all of it. So it's, it's definitely a tough job. Um, playing it for seven years, though, you know, I found some, some tricks to help me. Tell me cope with all that. And it looks like that time is right now. Tripwire is going to find the first bomb, but he never saw Caboose. So he's in the power position, and he is going to put it to use to make it three straight kills. 